Alright fam, we're about to do this toast. I clean up. I just had my girls shot a video this morning. And uh, of course I helped. They made waffles. So y'all be on the lookout for the Gina G project and the waffle making adventure. So I'm still getting ready, so while I'm getting ready to find out who's gonna be toasting with me this morning. I'm going to take some time, clean up the table. I thought the ladies would be here, but you know, once they did their video, they no longer needed me. That's how it goes sometimes. A little bit different this morning. I got the whole table. We gonna lay it out. Actually, I wanna do some samples with y'all today. So after doing the one project, the one show on dehydration and the comments that was made about water. I'm going to experiment for like the next 21 days on spring water. Of course, I, every now and then, depending on depending on the budget, you know how the budget rolls, right? Those of you that has a budget like mine, I'm gonna be experimenting with different uh, uh, natural water, natural spring waters, and um, you know we just gonna get it in like that, right? But of course, you know, we're going to continue toasting the ancestors. So, today's YouTube show is going to be about the Nguza Saba, 21 Day Nguza Saba Challenge that I'll be starting tomorrow. And of course, y'all know I already did it, you know, because I don't believe in prescribing stuff for other people that I haven't tried for myself. And I have received some benefits, but I'm pushing it just a little bit farther I'm going a little bit deeper with it um, during this process. So for those that, how you doing, Ms. A? So for those that um, have been following me, y'all know I've been doing a lot of shows on um, morning. I've been doing a lot of shows on like the microbiome and I have to find out about the microbiome and about the parasites and about the sugar. Let me tell y'all something, man. One of the interesting things that I found out about the microbiome, and I wasn't even researching the microbiome when I found this out. I was watching, um, it's a YouTube show called Impact Theory. And on Impact Theory, um, Tom Bilu had a, a, a guy that was on the show who was a neuroscientist. And uh, they had been doing a whole bunch of different experiments. And one of the things that he mentioned just in, in the sidebar, was that they could change your personality by messing with your microbiome. Now, I want y'all to think about this, right? So for those that are, are new to what I'm talking about, the microbiome is the gut bacteria. They talk about the gut bacteria as if it's just in this small area of the gut. But your microbiome encompasses trillions, as high as 100 trillion bacteria, yeast, Fungi, viruses, they all work together to make you. As a matter of fact, there's 10 times more of them, those type of cells in your body than human cells, right? So by affecting the microbiome, they change the total makeup of who you are. Now, I want you all to think about this. Some of us that's, that's working with kids, some of us that's working with people around us. How many of the people around us are acting out? Not because they want to act out, but acting out because their gut bacteria or their microbiome is off. And I want you to think about this. When you look at the standard American diet, it is full, which, which spells out the word sad. It's full of processed foods and processed sugar, processed flour, um, not really good water, water that's full with fluoride. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the behavior issues and a lot of the bad 
explosions we have going on with people? Could it be that the microbiome is totally out of whack? That these people are infested by unhealthy bacteria and yeast? These people are infected by parasites? Because these little things work inside of you. And I'm going to get into the toast to a second, but y'all got to hear this. Check this out, family. I want you to really check this out. Listen, the microbiome or the gut bacteria is called the second brain. It is another organ. So we're teaching our kids about the organ systems. There are several organ systems that we left off. The skin is an organ. We thought it was the biggest one, right? But it's not the biggest. They got the fascia, which is another organ, which is the white meat that's up underneath that forms like a tight, uh, uh, um, a diver suit around your body that holds everything together as one. A whole nother system. Third, we got the microbiome. And they call that the second brain. Miss A says, do you think this is related to the idea that some of the additives people are eat manifest in allergies or some conditions? Sounds to me. It is. See, and check this out. When you start dealing with the microbiome, you start finding out that all of the diseases, all of the diseases can be simply dealt with, better managed, and in some cases healed. By dealing with the people's microbiome. Everybody's microbiome is made up a little bit different. So it will be more individualized medicine. But this is the issue. Why would I want to give you a cure when I can keep you doped up and keep you medicated? Because I want, I want y'all to think about what we call medicine. What we call medicine is not, it shouldn't be called medicine. It should be called maintenance. Because you always got to take it. Once I start taking high blood pressure medicine, I got to keep taking high blood pressure medicine. Once I start taking medicine for my heart, I got to keep taking medicine for my heart. Once I start taking medicine for my kidneys, I got to keep taking medicine for my kidneys. And on top of that, the stuff that's in the medicines cause other things in your system to break down. Which means now I got to take another medicine. So if I was taking medicine for my heart, I eventually got to start taking medicine for my kidneys. And I got to start taking something for my liver. Then I got to, then my whole maintenance system is around keeping me artificially alive. When there's a system in our body that if we bring it in, in, into balance, it will solve all of our issues. It can. Right? It's just a matter of bringing ourselves into balance. It's, it's, it's my eye. Um, Ms. A says, I've changed my eating habits and physical habits and have never felt so good so fast. Truly a natural, um, true, truly all natural is the way to go. And think about, think about how that affects your kids. We got kids. I mean, I, I got fifth graders rolling around, crawling on the ground, family. I want y'all to think about this. And, and their whole diet is processed. Oh, God. Listen. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get off of that. But what I was saying is today's show, after I do my toast, today I'm going to be dealing with the Nguza Saba Challenge. Now, for those that don't know what that is, I will post up a link. I have my phone, but I'm uploading my my, my, my daughter's show. Um, it's, it's the Cheetos. It's the potato chips. It's the non laters. It's the it's it's the hot takis. It's the uh it's 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 the fluoride in the water. It's the milk that we give them that we tell them it does a body good. I mean, just just look at the lunch food. Just look at the lunch food we giving our kids. You know what I'm saying? And then we want them to act right. And then we give them candy for a goddamn reward, which is full. Which is all processed. Family, we got to do better. If we want to go into the next century and we want to be winning in the next century, we got to do better. Listen, so um, so for the Ngusa Cyber Challenge, one of the major things I'm doing for this challenge. Because y'all, those of you, you know, I've already been doing the challenge, right? But... What I'm doing for mine, because I've been doing it for a while and I've been doing intermittent fasting, I am going for a 21-day fast. Yeah, yeah, kind of caught me off guard too. You know what I'm saying? But I already put it out there, so I gotta go on and I gotta go on and put my best foot forward. So starting tomorrow, 
for the next 21 days. I will start the first seven starting tomorrow on the Moja. We'll be doing water. We will be doing the ambrosia, of course. We'll be doing that ambrosia. And I'm going to explain each one of these. Ugh. The next week after that, right, we're going to eliminate the coffee. I'm going to eliminate um, most of the teas. Of course, I'm going to keep on doing ambrosia because we're going to be doing our toast for the next seven days. So it's going to be water and ambrosia. So that's the second week. Third week is going to be four days, just water. Then the last three days, I'm going to push to do absolutely nothing at all. And I know that I know y'all like, oh, 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 wait, hold on, brother. Listen, I did it before, right? Um, but I did it under more extreme conditions. I did what was called a uh, um, omblature. Vision Quest. I was marched down to the woods, no shirt, just a pair of shorts, two blankets, put into a sacred circle, prayed over, and left out there for almost two days. No food, no water. So it's, it's definitely possible. I know it's definitely possible. But the piece I'm trying to do is to bring myself into a personal alignment. It gives me time to work on some things because when you when you when you're fasting. It's like you get all types of thoughts. And then on top of that, I'm incorporating the whole, um, everything that I'm sending people out. You know, because like a, the physical movement. Like I told you, there's only four things that we need. We need, we need, think about it, family, the four. It's the four. Air. Shouts out to um, uh, Nehemiah. Um, shouts out to Real Fake Media. Shouts out to um, Sister Sheila. It's only four things that we need to, 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 to live, family, and to be healthy. To be healthy, right? Air, proper breathing. Most of us are breathing wrong. Listen, I'm telling y'all right now, dude, these, the, the, the biggest hustle going is to think that you need somebody else to basically take care of you, like a doctor. But our ancestors told us, heal thyself. Proper breathing, proper water, proper food, proper movement. You won't have no problems. You won't have no problems. And I know a lot of y'all out there doubting that, but I'm trying to tell you that it's the real. As my man, as my man Dame, as, as my man Dame says, the new gangster is healthy, right? You know what I'm saying? Because so many of us sick. There's so many of us sick, and, and we don't even have to be sick. And that's the that's the piece that I'm trying to get across to people. So now, I'm taking the challenge to a whole nother level. Now, the Guza Saba challenge, I'm extreme with it. I'm going extreme. I'm going hard with it, right? I'm still doing the toast. Getting up, I'm going to do my movement. I'm get up do my uh, breathing exercises. I'm going to drink my water. I'm going to drink my ambrosia. I'm going to drink my bitters in the first week. I'm almost done with this bottle, though. Right, I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna keep on producing the way I'm producing right now. I'm gonna keep on blogging. I'm gonna keep on doing all the stuff that I'm doing, right? But I'm gonna show y'all that because you're gonna be able to walk through me now. What I'm doing is I'm setting up an update site, GNJ Update. All you gotta do is join me, follow me on Gumroad. It's free, right? Because I'm gonna be putting up update videos. So instead of me writing down on the diary that I sent out to y'all. I'm going to actually do a live diary for you over Gum Road so you keep up with me, so you keep up with the struggle, so that anybody that's thinking about doing a fast, whether it's a day fast or a three-day fast or a five-day fast or a seven-day fast, you keep up with me so that you can see some of the changes that you're going to go through. Because I already know, because I like eating. My man Dame say, real fake media, an international household name. You are giving them their good signs. I respect your truth. Um, your slang is verbal medicine. Keep telling the truth since you ain't going to lie. Healthy, he said healthy is a new gangster. Healthy is a new gangster. We got to change the paradigms in our community, family. I mean, we honestly got, we honestly got motherfuckers believing. We honestly got our children believing that gangster is individuals that can roll up in the hood, shoot up everything as soon as police officers, especially white police officers come run off running. Shit ain't gangster.
I tell you about gangster, man. I toast my ancestors every day. I tell you about gangster. I tell you about back in the day in Columbus, Ohio, where my elders would chase the fucking police up out the neighborhood. That's gangster. You know what I'm saying? And they wasn't no no selling no dope shit. They was on protecting their community. That's gangster. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to hear about this fake gangster shit rolling on rims and shit and talking about pimping and hoeing and shit. That ain't no gangster shit. That's some hoe shit. And that's what's tearing up our community. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason, only and, and the only reason that these little motherfuckers is allowed to exist and some of these motherfuckers are allowed to exist because they working on this. And I want y'all to understand the mindset, right? It's a parasitic mindset. It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a parasitic mindset. And they understand that the men that could do something don't do nothing because we know that as soon as we step to these motherfuckers, they're going to go to the police and then we going to go to jail. Period. You know what I'm saying? They always talking about keep it gangster, keep it in the streets, but them the first motherfuckers to go and tell the police after you beat their ass, they reporting on you. Right? After you take their shit, they reporting on you. That ain't gangster. That's hoism. Right? And a motherfucker so hoish that the first thing you go to is a motherfucking gun. I remember when being a man was about being able to stand up on your own. Right? But now we got gangsters that's quick to, that's quick to squeeze hammers and shit. What kind of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? That's the last resort. That's, for these niggas, that's the first resort. You know what I'm saying? They'll, put, they'll pump up a gun on you in a second. Family, come on now. We got to get real about this. And we got to start letting our men, we got to start letting our children, especially our boys, know what it means to be a man. And one of the reasons that I stopped doing some of the stuff I did, because with the boys in the Giami house, I taught every last one of them how to fight. Right? I taught every last one of them. I invested time in every last one of them, making sure they knew how to choke a motherfucker out, how to defend themselves. Right. But what started happening is that when my sons defended themselves, these bitch ass gangster niggas would sneak up behind them and put a bullet in their head. So I just stopped. I just stopped because I start realizing that manhood had evaporated. I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry. What's up, Dame? Hold on. Let me go back, my man. Let me go back. I got to go back a little bit. I went on. Shoot us. They work out plain and and I'm rocking with you. Um ritual ritual virtual fitness is in full effect. Health is the new gangster. You are so live on Iliab. That's my brother. Futures facts. Real fact everything. It's programming the food, water, air, land, media, schools, entertainment, laughing out loud. You just sound like pops on Friday. If you just, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I mean, because that's the way we came up. We had beef. We settled that shit. Right? Win or lose. We settled that. Man, it's... it's so, you know, um, I'm about to do this toast and call their ancestors. I'm going to call some real gangsters in, right? I'm going to call... Like, uh, like... Like I got, I had an opportunity to sit down with um, Geronimo Pratt, thanks to my elder, um, Gay Lord Thomas. Um, um, he brought him to Simba Camp. I got to sit down and chop it up with um, 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 brother um, Jajaga, he, Jajaga Maya. But I got an opportunity to sit down with him, right? I got an opportunity to sit down with Normal X. I got an opportunity to sit down with other people that was in Normal X's circle, right? I got an opportunity when I was in Africa to meet other Black Panthers, right? And I got to meet, I got to, I got to meet the real warriors, man, right? Geronimo set it down for twenty, uh, was it twenty six years? Geronimo said that they, they welded him in. To his into his cell to fuck with his mind and let him know he would never get out. And he never opened his mouth. Gangster. You want to talk? Gangster, right? Gangster. You know what I'm saying? You tell a nigga five years, he's telling everything. And I got elders that set it down for 26 years. I got I got my elder Nomo, man. My elder Nomo was facing murder charges. 
murder. He was going to put him in jail forever. Right? When fought the case, won that shit. Y'all can look it up. Gangster. Right? Gangster. You know, I, I'm so sick of some of these people, man. I'm so sick. I mean, I, 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 and I look at it, and I just have to walk away. Why? Because they banking. See, in our community, you got individuals that bank on you having something to lose. Right? See, I used to didn't mind smacking motherfuckers in the face. Men. Not, yeah, not women. The, 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 slap, the slap was reserved for individuals who thought they were somebody. Right? The slap was reserved. Because let me tell you the, psychologic, the, the psychology of a slap. Right? When I slap you, right? When I slap you, what I'm telling you is that you are not worthy of my fist. Right? And it was going to bring one or two things up out of you. It was going to bring the man and the warrior spirit up out of you. Or it was going to reveal who you really was. I learned that. I learned that shit in the, in the seventh grade. I learned it in the seventh grade. Why? Because I was raised by I was I was raised around some real gangsters. I was raised around real men, right? Beating up a woman and shit. Come on, man. What kind of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, back then we didn't have women running up on. In most cases, we didn't have women running up on men like they run up on you now, right? So first, we gotta get this water family. I'm sorry. I I kind of went off on a tirade. I'm sorry. Listen, man. I mean, it, it's just it's just incredible to me, right? So, you have these fake gangsters running around. You got these parasites, because they're not gangsters. We need to call them what they are. We got these parasites running around our community, causing all types of um, craziness. Then on top of that, we got these beasts rolling around in this blue and white or black and white or whatever they wearing on that day. You know what I'm saying? Causing all types of fuckery in our community. Taking our children's lives and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shooting unarmed motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And the bottom line is that we got to take into account that that's their job. They're just doing their job. There is a social contract. There's a social contract that allows, allows the police to murder us. And they'll get all free. All right. So first, make sure you drink your water, family. Uh oh, I see Miss Victoria up on the line. What's up, girl? Your daughters ain't joining me today. They just did a uh a show. Um they showed the people how to make waffles and they did a fantastic job and it will be uploaded in F D. That's full definition. Uh oh, somebody behind me. <laughs> That's right. Oh man. Uh, you know we're allowed to you know we're allowed to breathe, but you know what that you know you know what that means, then, right? See, because the fact of the matter is, in the world we world we're living in, in order for us to continue breathing and at least have the space that we need, this means that other people may have to stop breathing. But we got stuff to lose, right? See, this this is where they got us, man. This this is where they got us, right? Oh man, we got you know what I'm saying? You got you you got your beautiful son there. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine having to tell your son that you ain't coming back home. See, because this is the position that they're putting us in on both sides, the parasitic side and the B side. This is the situation that we are being put into, bruh. Right? Imagine having to tell your son. Or me having to tell my son and me having to tell my daughters that I ain't never coming back home. Because this is the this this is the position that they're putting us in. You know it. Because you do war. Right? You understand strength. This is the position that we're put in. I don't even get a listen. I I, I don't even like running no more. Right? Because I keep I keep wondering if they see me running. Will they feel threatened? Right? I mean, because it's like anything we do is threatening to them. So if they see me running, will they feel threatened? 
and put me in a situation, right? Because it's like, yo, I done been shot before. So. So is the hymen. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to tone it down because the ladies I'll have decided. All right, hold on. The ladies have joined me. So what I need to do is get the ladies some glasses so they could drink with us I'm on this morning toast. Up. Hold on, baby. Let me get up. Let me get up and get your cup. Okay. And give me a little cup. Can I get the little time. cup? Give me a little cup. All right, now your mama is on, on. So y'all got to be careful with these glasses. Hold on, let me set up their chairs. We got, hey, we got, we got the ladies in the house. Scoot over. I'm in the middle today. Uh, All right, one of y'all gonna be on this side. Ugh. Eat, somebody gonna be on this side. Give her one of those pillows so she can sit up. Move, son. I'll just sit on the stool first. All right, uh, you got to sit up on your knees, Gina. Okay. They can't see me if these fat bottles are in the way. Move. I'll move the bottles, baby. <laughs> All right. Sorry for the interruption, but the ladies want to get on. Um, make sure y'all tell them about y'all show. Tell them about y'all show. Uh, we made a show about pancakes this morning. Oh, waffles. Waffles. I thought it was about waffles, Mosh. Yeah. All right, so my daughter's is going now. Remember, as Brother Dane say, we always start with healthy water. is the new gangster. So we start with water. All right That's now. That's for me. Okay, right now for the next couple of days, next twenty one uh, days, uh -oh, so starting tomorrow, up. I'll be doing the spring water. We're gonna be doing sampling different types of spring water. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going on an extensive fast, fam. So it's about to go down. We about to y'all about to see some stuff. So you gonna if you want to keep up, if you want to keep up with what's going on, right? You gonna go to gum dot co forward slash g n j update. All right. I will put a link up. I'm gonna come back to the video after I'm done. I will put the link up so that you keep up because for the next 21 days, like I said, I'm just doing liquids. Right, and then on the last three of the 21 days, I'm not doing anything, so I'm gonna have to be as stress free as possible. So I'm gonna be just disappearing for a while. All right, so go and drink your water. Uh, nice and healthy. All right, uh, brother Dane, yeah, this is what I've been waiting for you to do, man. When, when you see me on, come and advertise your stuff. Make sure y'all tune in to Young Man's Perspective Radio to check out King Hatim Giammi as he shares more truth and science as we continue to build our intelligence, uh, intelligent nomics. Live on Iliad. P.S. P.S. Y'all say hi to your Uncle Dane. Hi, Uncle Dane. P.S. I build with my son, Lord, tomorrow in real life, in real time. Kiss the ladies for the, for the, for, for, he say he want me to kiss y'all. I ain't gonna, uh, uh, All right, hey. Give me some. Huh, hold on, baby. Why? You got to drink some more water. Water is the key to life. No, it's not. You what? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's good. Water is bad. bad for you and it's not healthy. You say it's bad for you? Yeah. I like it's possible. Girl, tell me about your science, girl. Tell me about why you think why you think water is bad for you. Your body is 70% water. Because that's not the key. Now, now I did a show. I did a show on water, right? On dehydration, family. It turns out that a lot of the same diseases that are we are suffering in our community come from dehydration. So it's only logical to wonder whether we are suffering from these diseases or are we really dehydrated and malnutrition? Are we really? Are yes. we, are we really suffering from asthma? Are we really suffering from allergies? Are we really suffering from um, um, diabetes? Are we really suffering from um, the cardiovascular diseases? Are we really suffering yes, from these things? Yes. Or are we dehydrated? We're dehydrated. Are we malnutrition? No. You know what I'm saying? Are we processed beings? I want y'all to think about that. If your food is processed, remember... One of the first things you learn as a child, you are what you eat. So if you're eating all processed food, are you a processed being? 
No. If you eat an artificial food, are you an artificial being? No. What's in here? What's in here? Did Grandma join? No, she ain't join. Why? Because we were mean to her yesterday. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know why people are not. Y'all finished your water? No. All right. All right. No. Y'all get the ones y'all want. Hold on. So... Today, as far as the ambrosia, and for those that don't know what ambrosia is, I can put a link up for you. Just hit me up, and I'll let y'all know. Obviously, my daughter's been messing with my tags. All right. So, this one right here is called the Super Death Eater. I trained, I personally trained a scoby. I don't know how you do that. I know how to do it. Hush, hush, hush. I personally trained a scoby. Stop trying to be slick. Okay. Y'all see that? Did y'all see that? <laughs> right? She trying to get me to go to jail on Facebook. Don't be disrespectful, young lady. All right. We got Super Death Eater. Death Eater is a combination of burdock root and dandelion root tea. All right? Now, so what I did was rather than use the green tea, I got a scoby to go and directly brew dandelion root and burdock root. Look them up. Because it deals with a lot of ailments that are going on in our community, family. Now, this I got I got a SCOBY that does this, right? And it basically ferments the uh, ferments the dandelion and the burdock root and make it possible to for your body to absorb more of the nutrients and more of the stuff that you need. This one right here is the tart cherry, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Tart cherry. It's the tart cherry. My daughters want that, that is, one. That is tart cherry. And this one is the experimental brew I'm doing for myself right now. No, this this one, hold on, hold on. This one right here has actual the actual ginger root has the actual um it has the actual um ginger root it has the actual oh uh, what is it called um it's the cousin of ginger and it's orange. Um, hold on. Turmeric. It has turmeric and cinnamon. So I just wanted to sample on that a little bit. So, um, my girls, y'all want the tart cherry? Yeah. No, I want to read something. You said you read it wrong. You said that fam tart cherry. This is, that mean, when I say fam tart cherry, this is so that I won't Daddy. mix this up with the one with the other orders. What's up? Dad, can I tell them something? Why, why is this coming off my dad? Why is what? That's coughing off my dad the bubbles. Ah, okay. You you want this one? Yeah. All right. Hey, daddy. I need yeah. a little it, bit. It looks like snakes. I need a little bit for me. That's enough. That's enough? Yeah. Uh, right. A little bit one? more. Yeah. A little bit more. One, two, three, four. Is you that want some? Honey. Is, is that the honey one? All of them got honey in it, Jenny. All right, that's for them. Oh, we have to do the toast. Yeah, you got to do the toast first. Let me smell it. Mmm. It smells pretty strong. You still got, you still got your, uh, you still got, it's still young enough where you can still smell the honey. So I'm going to sample this one right here. But before I do that, y'all know I got to drink my water. But before I finish my water, I got to do my bitters. Y'all want some bitter? No! Yes! You want to try it, Gina? Yeah, just a little bit. Because you know it's rough. It's rough for your mouth. But it's good that we get our kids on bitters and stuff. Right? Did you <laughs> did you touch them for real? Mm -hmm. Alright. Because the bitter in life. Let me take some. No, I don't Here. Put the, cup, put the glass down. Put the glass down. I don't want none. I'm just kidding. Alright. The bitter in life. Get them ready. Did you want me to drink some? You nasty girl. Mm -hmm. Was that yummy? And alkaline and sunlight minus acids. Life processed is processed. We must learn how to live again. Live on live on Iliab. We are real fake media and we're an international household name. Shouts out to um, real fake media. Now I'm gonna say this though, because we gotta be careful. Too much be be quiet, please. Too much of one thing, good for nothing. We gotta be aware. Because what happens 
When you have something that's too acidic, nothing grows. It means death. When you got something that's too alkaline, what does it mean? It means death. Nothing grows. Right? So we got to have a balance. This is why our ancestors stressed the principles of Maya. Truth, justice, righteousness, balance, order, and harmony. Right? We got to maintain the balance because our body needs certain levels of acidity. We're getting too much now. Right? But we don't want people going all the way over to being totally alkaline. Come on, baby. Being totally alkaline. And 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 nothing could grow in their body because they're totally alkaline. Because acid is part of life. It's that it's that crucial balance that we got to strike. Family. I mean, it, it it's not hard. Our ancestors already left it for us. They I mean they, they left it in the principle. So let me finish my water, ladies, and we're gonna do our toast. Because I know I'm holding y'all up. And since I'm starting my fast tomorrow, I'm grubbing the day. Yeah. Man. Hey, guess what? Mommy and Sasha look like mommy, and I look like daddy. All right. I don't. So. Mommy looks like her stuff. Which one are you about to get? Uh, that looks like snakes. This is the experimental. Ew, it looks like snakes inside. Oh, baby, you're not good for business. I'm going to stop. Sasha's going to have her own show, and it's going to be called... This is called Daily Toast. Sasha's going to have her own show, and it's going to be called The Morning Toast. Stop, Sasha, stop. It's going to be called The Morning Toast. And, um, of course, it's not going to be every day like mine, but... Excuse me. No, today is Imani. Good job, Gina. Hmm. Why are you mad because she got it right? Because <laughs> she's a horrible counter. Such a much your sister. Count. I pass counting. Okay, count then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, y'all see, y'all seen a root, a root jumped off into the mix. All right. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to let that sit for a while. I'm going to have to refill these. Because the problem is that once, once, once I let it get down below this level right here, fam, <laughs> the whole flavor starts to change. Right? Like so that's like, that's why I like selling them in the smaller bottles. Because once, once, once you open that, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill that nap, boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. So first... Toes, right. So first, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you better not. Don't violate. Okay. Turn around. Okay. I'm not laughing. First, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glasses to that creator, to that great force in the universe that made all of this possible. We salute it, even though we know that it's present with us right now. We call the energy and we ask it to touch everybody that's watching us and that's with us now in spirit. We lift up our glasses and we say, I say, you say, oh, you hold say. on, my fault. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. All right, cool. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We lift up our personal ancestors. We lift up our grandmothers and our grandfathers. Our, mo uh, our mothers and our fathers, our uncles and our aunts, our, um, our cousins and our friends, our nieces and our nephew. We lift them all up. All those people who contributed to our life and who made their transition. Right? They didn't die. They made a transition. We lift them up. Right? And we salute because as Africans, we recognize the cycle of life. And we recognize that power. So go on and start throwing out some of your ancestors if you want me to toast them on here, or you shout them out yourself. Because hell for an African is being forgotten, and of course my daughter's got something to say. Go ahead. Don't forget Christopher. No, it's not Christopher. Your grandmother said it's Chris. Chris. Right? So I got to change the whole family. I got to change my Dad, whole memory Daddy. of the family line. Yes. Don't forget Papa. Peepa. Okay. Don't forget. Can I say him? Yes. Y'all want me to say him? Yeah. Yeah. 
Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosie Lee Tilly, and Georgia and will be quiet, Georgia and William Walton, Christopher and Fanny Gladson, um, my uncle Chris, um, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, um, <laughs> Uh, no, uh, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, uh, <laughs> Margaret Ellis, Cecil, oh, Gina Gaines, Alvira, Bar Alvira Brown, Chris, my uncle Chris, I gotta, let me say it again because I've been forgetting, um, we're gonna move to my friends, Jamon Jones, um, John Fillard, um, Jeremiah Tappan, um, <laughs> anybody else? Brian? Uh, no, we don't have a Brian yet. Uh, Elder Farmer, I know Elder is. Donaldson, Elder Hairston, um, Marianne, uh, Dr. Marianne Williams, Normal X, um, Sapet Ma Ra, um, uh, um, uh, Elder, um, J J J Jaga Maya. Go ahead. G. Okay. All right. So we lift up and we toast our ancestors and we say, Ashes. From there we toast this moment. We are in the mining, right? I'm about to start a, a powerful journey, and so I need the faith. And I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I, ain't gonna, I can do that. Yeah. So we're gonna toast and we're gonna say, Ashes. Right. All of our powers in the know. Now we we toast our children. Our children's children onto infinity because everything we're building is for them. So we toast and we say, okay. Last but not least, last but not least, I toast you. Right? I toast I toast your struggles. I toast your victories. I toast your kids. What else we toast? Kids We toast we toast that the ancestors go before you and make your way smooth. So we toast and we say I say. I say. Ashe, and we wish you peace, peace, peace power, and joy. Peace, power, and joy. Right. In 100 years. Hey, I would just say that. Go ahead. Peace, power, and joy in 100 years. Now let's go. Oh, go on, God. Go, go on, people. You Jew. like it? Oh, man. Yeah. You like it? I think I got a hit here, fam. Uh-oh. Let me taste it. Me too. Okay. Smell good and tastes good. Mm, she right. That's that turmeric, ginger, and no, cinnamon. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, tastes like honey. Let me taste more. Mm -mm. I should have got some. I taste some more. Take yours. What's wrong with yours? All right. All right, Facebook. I want to thank y'all for joining me. Allow me. Oh, that's good too. Oh, they are when they young. Mm, mm. But when they get old, right? That's for those kind of sewers, right? You know what I'm saying, family? We got, we got something. That can save lives because these this provides probiotics and it's something that can be made in the home. And I'm already offering to help to help people learn how to do this on their own. This like I, I mean, because like I said, I'm not greedy, fam. The issue is I want to make sure that people are healthy, man. I got too many of my I got too many of my family coming up with these autoimmune diseases. But the, you know what an autoimmune disease means? This means that your body is attacking itself. Not attacking itself. Huh? That tastes really good. Give yourself. This is the news. How do you make ambrosian? I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> First, you need a scoby. <laughs> well, you can't make ambrosia. They can make they can make June, but they can't make ambrosia. That's enough for me now. Oh, I just jumped in. That's yours. <laughs> y'all can make June, but y'all can't make y'all own ambrosia. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get your own probiotics. And what's crazy is that the, the SCOBY, which is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, right? 
once you form a relation relationship with it, it's a symbiotic relationship. So in order for it to get from you what it needs, it's going to produce what you need to stay healthy so that you can continue getting it what it needs. Dope relationship. That's that's a real relationship. Oh, man. Let's go and drink. Let's go and drink. Drink. You straight? Yes. You straight? Yes. You straight? All right, Facebook. We're going to say peace, great and money, and, and happy we'll new see you on the other side. Oh, it's Happy New Year, too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> peace.